Good morning, student architecture 112. We continue with um, the video yesterday I did um, per you. So now we continue with that because this is the long chapter we cover whole of um, the course. So that's why it takes long. I hope I can do for two video, but maybe three. It depends. So today we continue with that. Yesterday I do the part one. Now I continue with part two. I remember exactly yesterday we stopped at uh, here about the proportion and the scale. In a uh, proportion and architecture, we have few examples for the spiral base or golden, and after that, we had a temple from Athena and Nike, Athens. We have relationship of two unequal parts, so that's the smaller part into larger, is larger in the both combined. Divide the square vertical to drop down diagonal, and after that, one side are divided by square. That's it, the diagonal lane is to the golden section. The image right here to show you how they divide that, they usually divide by three. You look at this home page, they have the part right here, it um, larger than double side from the smaller right here, rectangular. And after that, in the smaller, they have divide by three. You see that's a double side from this one. And when we have the small one, we have one more time rectangular right here. They divide by three parts for the proportion. They have two thirds, and after that, one third in this one. Continue with that, we have the smaller. They divide like that. When they have the, I mean, the big project, they usually divide by three parts, two parts for the large one, and after that, one third for the uh, the smaller and they continue to do like that with the small tri um diagonal i mean the triangle right uh, rectangular right here you can see that's the big part right here double from the small part and one more time the small um rectangular they have divided by three and this one is the one third from the whole of them so the way they do like that similar with the spiral you can see right here they go something like this, and this one is one from one third from the whole, and after that they go this one, and this one totally right here is one third from this one, and finally the split, uh, the big spiral you can see this one is one third from the whole one. So the basically you can see proportion when they do for architecture design it's similar like that. Next one is the scale. The scale we can use. Uh, the scale to do size for the building. One of example we can see it a um, um, the church from the Peter at Rome, fifteen forty nine until uh, fifteen sixty four. The large scale create. You can see the radius scene of visual unity of separate parts. International style for modernism. The drive for architecture of such clue for the pave, for you can see the pave 79, uh, Skidmore, Owing, and Muriel. They have the rare book for library at Yale School uh, from 1960 and they finished on 1963. You can see that's the scale from the projects they do for site of the building. That's in one of the landscape architects they have compass from the arch and the U for design the, uh, the school. So you can see right here with the scale. Uh, the first one is the church. You can see the church from uh, Peter. At, um, the, the first one is the temple from Nike. And you can see that uh, part of them is right now in construction. And during construction, visitors can stop by uh, the park. They still uh, okay, safe for people can stop by. Um, in the park, they have construction. They have limit for the people in there sometime. The, the the church from Peter, St. Peter from Rome, you can see that's on of the, the scale and the proportion. They show very clear in the projects. The scale, you can see the people right here, and the scale, very large scale, and they divide that by many parts from the building, I mean from the church. This is from uh, outside, when you look at the church from Peter, it's right there, and after that you can see around from the big side, um, outside from the building. They have the scale for that one and proportion for each of them. 
this is some interior you can see that with the with the large building and the big scale inside interior is so huge and you can look on the ceiling with very very detailed um, ceiling this is the the rib wall so you can see that and the big uh, dome right here with the window the glass window so they can get the natural light come into the building the same thing when you see the arch on the ceiling the the, the vault they call it the rib wall and you can see the dome over there with the sunlight natural sunlight coming to uh, the building you see how much people can come to the building at the same time at that time i don't know how about occupancy load they can play or not but i think that's a lot of people inside from the building you can look at this okay and um, beside we go with this one we also go with um the the the, uh, the library the rare book library from the Yale School, and you can see that as is some of the uh, they go the the functional from, uh, uh, I mean the the scale, and after that they use the landscape around to make the building is more effect by energy, and do like that. So we can see the side from the school is look like this, and in front of the school. That's either side in front of the soup you can see like this like this they have uh, many um, I mean a small park across us and they do very nice one to get the uh, the building outside okay so next one we will go with the room and design the window space in the wall the column in the colonnade the column in an arcade and after that, the surface detail. This of them, we have uh, one example uh, because we have a lot. So I select one example for you. For example, the room, we go with um, uh, the back from uh, the pattern from incident and interval. Scan is usually from the left to the right. And after that, it do exactly the same. It uh, look like from the sheet from the music, the people associate with architecture, in the music and both experience in time about the window space we have uh, again with La Carisha, we have Sagittarius building in Chandigarh and this is some kind can you sh see that's the window and the wall look like the rim and consistent in the building about the column in the colonnade we have example from store of Alatos and Athens uh, see the circus before 150 around see the circus around 150 bc e before chris area the columns in the archi so that means they have a lot of column that's very fine with that the column in archi very fine we have uh giulino romano this is an example from palazzo de te um mentor italy we start from 1527 and finish on 1534 they have no two columns set and they have the same side, side by side with the column. About the surface detail, we have example from Skidmore Owens. It's from the Rare Book Library, Yale again, for the surface. So you can see the detail they do with the surface look like the small square together, like I showed you before. And you can see that's a one of, uh, you know, the detail for uh, the, the library for the school. And if you look at the this one, if you look at the um, the image from the angle, and you can see that's very nice school with the outside from the surface. They do very detailed, and you can call that the rim, uh, the rim, because it's similar for each of them, and they do uh, outside from the building. You can see that this is the outside one, and this is the inside from the school of our library from Yale school this is one example like um, they said about the column in our key you can see that's one building they have many column to put for both level from the building and you can see on of them uh, vertical and parallel for on of the column are key like this so that view by King Alatos um, like the gift for uh, the city for mountains they, they call that the store. They mean reconstruction. They have reconstruction from 1950. 
um, it illustrates for the well from the seated building that began to lie and defy by the, the Greek agoras, the rib from uh, the period. Okay, next one is the texture. The texture is some kind like we have the optional for the virtual passion on the large scale. If you could grazing your hand across the whole entire building, you can see that the texture, how can they do with this one? And one example is like Kubisha from the building like we told before is Seretariat. We have uh, the other kind from the texture, we call that the tactile, the texture that's actually same you can touch us. And one example for Baker House in um, uh, Mississippi, uh, Michigan uh, from 1946 to 1948 and it's from uh, uh, material concrete like glass and the wood one combined together. Another example we have the Palazzo Medici in Florence, Italy and this is the rock masonry at the bottom that material they use it. Before we jump with the the another, uh, another period from architecture from modernism 1920 to 1960, we need to go to see some image about the optical texture and the tactile texture. This is one of um, uh, the example from Italy. They have the units like this with the masonry concrete and the wood combined together when they do the building. So they have example for complex cereals from variation from the temps, the chain from uh, the column, double column, and after that the arc, when the engine one, and after that the roof with the, um, I mean the the heat group. They repeat. Um, they appear in the first clan to be simple repetition. They have repeat many times for exactly the same in the building. And this is one example from uh, the Baker House. You can see that material is uh, masonry, outside from the masonry, and they call that the the tactile texture, that means you can touch that and you can see um, the roughness from the material outside. You look far away, the building plan, it looks like this. It has the curve and after that, it's the straight. So when you see the curve right here, it's right there. It's the curve right there and it's empty right there. So that means the building outside, if you look at uh, area view, you can see it looks like this, straight curve and after that straight this was straight again the curve right there okay this is the um, example from uh, palazzo the medicine from uh, italy and you can see that material rub outside this one you can get the satire uh, texture because you can touch that and you can see um uh, you can feel you can see the material uh, like outside like here this is interior and they did a quote here from this one. So now we go with uh, a little bit about the modern monism from 1920 to 16, 1960. Uh, the rope masonry with the poor craftsmanship. One of example we can see is on uh, from uh, Japan, uh, Kyoto. That's in the imperial village at uh, Kashura. They have the material in rocks, rainbow, water, architecture, rough to smooth, and they do the rainbow to pebble, walkway, a few stone, uh, bamboo fence, and after that the gates. That you can see the Japanese style, they usually have a uh, focus on the garden more than the building. So you can see uh, in the village, how is small but the gardens is so big and they decorate many things and one of example is uh, we can see the village at uh, Kashura near Kyoto this is one of um, this one and you can see that I have the material in bamboo on of the natural material bamboo uh, leaf I think that this is from uh, uh, the palm leaf or the coconut leaf and they have the bamboo over there and they have the landscape with the gates outside same thing with this one so you can see they have the step up with the stone or uh, concrete and they have the landscape 
around before they come into sight inside to the house with the gate or the big door. That is style from Japanese. They have a lot of gardens outside from the building. And they focus on the gardens more than the building. So you see a lot of landscape outside, a fountain and a rock and some kind like the tree or flower, seasonal flower. That is style from Japanese like this. The house is too so small. And after that, a lot of uh, the pond, the lake, the fountain, the bridge, the small one, and the landscape around the house. Okay, so now jump to the light and the color. Light, something extremely powerful element in architecture. Many, many design. And they try to focus in the light. One thing is um, the use for natural light and the paint. But sometimes they need the texture, interior design. They use a lot of uh, uh, not unnatural light. That means the lights for they can save energy right now. So if you can see the diffuse lights in the office, it focuses on the light used to traumatic effects, particularly in the Baroque age. The you they focus a lot of light. One example I can share with you it is Santa Maria de la Vittoria at Rome. Uh, they show a lot of the hidden window light and every else is the dim lit dim light. Another example is in Notre Dame de Hort for Ronchem France. It starts from nineteen fifty to nineteen fifty five. And they focus on the outside touch to the sunlight to inside from the building. That example I can share with you right now. From the dark to contract to the outside and specific and the sharp and the lights, the true through inside. That's the line. We will talk about the color later, but now we've take one example from the light. You can see that this is a um, uh, it's in the chapel. And you can see Santa Maria de la Victoria is right here. She hang one arrow. And this is another people. Uh, she stained. And you can see the line through her body. It's from the top one. That's from here. You can see she here. And the line come in the ball right here. Go up here. So that means they try to decide to focus to take the light. Go to the center from the 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 chapel and after that it effect in the teacher for the member of um, the Corallo family and the box often look at divine mystery from uh, you know at the sea from the saint teresa on state it is on state above them is the fresco ceiling show open up so that's why this one you can see a lot of the light coming um, the status, but it's come from the ceiling down. Okay, this is another example from uh, uh, this one. I think many people know that it's on, uh, they call that the Notre Dame de Hort. And you can see outside just the Congress regular, just the shape is some kind of like, uh, different with another building. And you see very small window. Um, in the wall and you can see like that uh, If you come to inside to the building you see the small window when they come in here They have a lot of color with the texture interior texture They can change the color natural light to the building with um, many different color window and They can get the lights come into the building look like this. This is a small window. You can see outside This outside here and inside, with the material inside, they can make the different color to the window to get lights in here for, uh, you know, look like the chapel and the church. So they, the people can stay here, they can pray in very uh, soft light and especially from the natural light. Okay, go back here a little bit with the colors in 19, uh, from uh, 19th century, many human psychological response they have the value from the color they have the hue for the color itself from the darkness the lightest and um, you know opposite one from that one so many things we can um, 
look at the color but basically we can see uh, many color they call that the warm it focus on the red one and after that the cool the cool color they focus on the green and the blue primary color they can mix with another one and after that they give for more color and they can add the shape for different kind of color or they can uh, decrease or increase the color by um, add some the white color in there many examples from the color but right here we can uh, take a look for a few examples before that we need to see from the wheel from the color you can see on the left side it is the warm color it start from red orange and after that yellow and on the right side you can call that the cool color the cool color is can be green can be blue can be purple and you call that the the cool color so now mix on of them or mix few of them together we have another color and depend on the uh, the value you can change you can add more white or black color and you can make the color is more dark or more light or become another color okay this is the wheel color the basic one for the interior people to start to design few projects right here they use the color to construct and they have the private house for example like this they use the color the blue uh, the cool color and the warm color the red and the yellow or the orange one uh, different like this in show for the elevation from the building same thing with this one they use different color to I me mean, to share with us about different park in the building this is the floor plan okay so go with another ones on uh, the Dorit order for the Rick temple we go with the grid architecture and you can see that uh, before it's like this before the building like this but now it totally destroyed and skip something like this uh, right now just we can see the column and fill up the top ceiling and the rest of them is gone so in this side i think that's right now they just temporary do some of the construction reconstruction few of the column they keep they remain on up the top part this is before if you look at uh, that's one uh, another temple they call that rockadai uh, go so and you can see the column right here the top ceiling is uh, some of them is gone and it's still there with the masonry concrete and you can see a uh, very huge and it's so thick material so you can go in the side one take another picture you can see that the huge column with on the top they painting with different color and they mix on the ceiling with the stripe like this very detailed one this is a, the egyptian temple About the church, we have the goddess uh, period. We have the Mil Milan Cathedral, Italy. It began on 1336 AD. And you see um, to show the vertical for the church, vertical height. So you can see that it's so tall. The people right here, so I guess they say maybe 50 to 60, more than 60 feet high. At the, the top of them for very um, tall building another church you can see uh, many different church from England uh, from French and especially in France you can see the circle they call that the rose window and this the rose window right here if you go inside you can see many many color come from the window because they have material inside by the glass piece the small class piece with different color they combine together to make interior and after the light coming to the window they go through inside you can see many different color inside so i usually tell the student that if you see some kind of just if they have uh, the balance and in the center they have the rose window and if some people ask you where 
uh, they use just the dosage in France because they did the style from the church in France. They have um, the rose window in the center from the church. Okay, so we go with uh, different periods from uh, Renaissance architects and interior style for uh, reject from the color and uh, ornaments from that time. Many, many interesting delineating structure rather than the color in the Renaissance areas. So, but they use for the darker stone or uh, pilaster and uh, in top, in 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 top of to in in tapetries from their interior uh, pages. One of example is Santa Maria della Caserio, Prato, Italy, and we can see the postmodern. So you can see the baroque. You can see the color introduced for the shake of fun, and uh, we can see another example: Pisa di Italy, New Orleans. Okay, so and after that we have international style has rejects, reject, rejected from the color. Some it go with um, the convention, and we have um, uh, the frame furnace for Providence Life and Trust Company in Philadelphia. That's one of the building in uh, Pennsylvania Academy. This one destroyed during the peak time and in international style. So um, we can see this one. About the ornaments, we have example from Joseph Carter Newsom, William Carson House. It's in California, 1884, that the ornaments um, decorate. You can see uh, the Sivas a ugly, but it built to keep his worker busy in the town. So that's why he make the work for uh, for people, serve so economists and social purpose right now. That's a um, Santa Maria de Se Casilla. You can see the top is material, and uh, the the bottom ones is different kind of material. They do some kind of like uh, for the people who have the job to work at that time. This is interior design from that church and you can see many parts in the wall with the detail the wall column and after that more detail on the uh, ornament this is the drum so they can get the light through to the building and another example is from new orleans you can see that the structure is so funny uh, it can do like many material and many different kind from the style for make sure the people have the work to do at that time. So this one right now is for uh, serve it for uh, economy. So you can see if you look at uh, the other corner, you can see it look like this. They call that the Pisa Italy monument. Okay, that's it, the uh, example from the trust company, Provident Life and Trust Company in Philadelphia. Before and now, it's look like this is so old. And uh, from here, you can see the strong contrast in the form. Look like the form is um, not the same, so we call the contract and the scale. Some small, some big. And after that, the texture to create the image, a wood bowl or unit. And you can see that the building looks like that. This a uh, ornament is a ram, published in 1908 and finished on 1910. This is the house is a good example for elimination from ornament that Lou advocates in his article, Ornaments and Crown. But the building, I think it looks like very simple with, um, if you compare with the building in the present time. It's so simple with um, the ornament like this and nothing special. And this A from uh, uh, Newsom, the William Carson House. Again, it's a ornament. And you can see that uh, the house will be for the red wood. And after that, I illustrate on extremely versatility uh, of this durable soft wood and also to keep the castle lumber 
lumber mill. The worker busy during um, the periods. That means they try to do a lot of work for the people working in this one, for that building. And now the function from ornaments, you know, that it can see like visual delight. Uh, two is it relate to the structure accessory. Ornament used for functionally in concert halls, and it acoust acoustical tile. So that's why not a lot of function for structure. The gothic ornament, you can see the detail in Notre Dame, the charts, and after that you can uh, see for Olympi Olympia on the Temple of Cheers. So that's one, two examples from gothic ornament. The first one, you can see the Notre Dame, the church, this one, in the ornaments one, uh, to show for example. I illustrate for teaching of the Christ one, and they have organized for the life sculpture. Not around the church, if you look at the entrance, they have many details on the top entrance. You see that one of them is the people uh, sculpture. And you can see they can have many different people on there and many uh, ornaments to do on the frame from the entrance one. These people sculpture and this is another people. So you can see very detailed structure and entrance. And you zoom it, you can see that, you see the animal and the people, the people, and after that, the people right there. That means the people in that period. And on the top one with different type from uh, decoration. And you can see here for the column, the cap from the column is so detailed. And this is interior for the goddess architecture. You can see that um, the window, if you look outside, it's just the rose window, but inside they have uh, material for the class with different type color piece they combine together. So you can see very interesting color in here, interior design. And after that, the light come in here, they go through in the building, you can see many light um, go through inside from the hallway is so beautiful okay another period is a uh, i think that we need to stop right here and we continue with uh, next time because it's time so long for one video so i will continue with uh, this one for the next video thank you for watching and see you next time